school was in existence since 1979, from San Carlos to Bethel, and we were building on that great foundation of pluralism and not an elitist school. And we were running out of space. These are the prayers we have for you. Rabbi Herbert Freeman talked about building a campus where you wouldn't have to choose to be a Jew or get great athletic fields. And um, so I came home and talked to Richard about that. At the time, the parking lot was the playground. The classrooms, though filled with wonderful teachers, were very small. And so uh, we looked at each other and it just came to both of us at the same time and said, let's see if we could possibly build a new campus. Richard and Anne kind of brought this up and it got us very excited. Anne and I went on a trip to Mexico City to visit a lot of the Jewish day schools. They gave us a whole tour of seven schools that we went visited in three days. She was just really paying attention to every single detail and writing notes and you would see her smile at me and say, that's something we should think about. She surveyed people around the country, met with them in different places to find out what other schools were doing, and she was able to bring what she learned back to the Jewish Academy. I went to purchase the land and I was turned down. Uh, Lenard did not want to sell their property. And I came home and explained that to Anne, and she turned to me and said, honey, if there's anything you do for the rest of our lives, buy that land. Well, there, there were always hurdles. Richard was very good at trying to get the right people to get on it so that we would definitely make this a reality. I just remember all the times where, you know, I'd be in the car with my dad, either going to dinner, or he'd pick me up from practice or something, and he was always, you know, on the phone trying to figure out everything. But she was really the driving force. It was her passion. She was the president. From her hard hat to her hiring of Larry Ashtel to, to just embracing the entire thing. The construction process, the, was incredibly compressed, um, a great deal of pressure. You know, we, we built um, this 135,000 square foot facility in actually less than a year, which is absolutely remarkable. And it was because of the passion and determination, firstly and foremostly by my wife, Anne. You'd wa see her walking on campus with her hard hat. People wanted to go home, but they would never go home because she wouldn't go home. And the time and energy and commitment and passion that she gave throughout the whole construction process was just truly amazing. But also the team that we put together uh, that really put their heart and soul into this. And Labor Day weekend before we opened up, there was a meeting, you know, can we call everybody in the school and put it off for a week? Because we weren't sure we were really going to make it open. But parents, you know, came out with screwdrivers, kids helped finish putting the things in the classrooms so we could open up. And, uh, and we did, and they blew the shofar on September 5th, 2000, and um, those that were there had tears running down their faces because it was a special day. My parents, they helped out so much, and they don't focus on what they did, they focus on what other people did. We've really been very fortunate to have partners uh, all along the way. Richard's parents, Irvin Eleanor have also believed in and been inspired by the vision that Ann and Richard had for the school. They were there side by side with us, really um, also pushing, envisioning. Truly a family unit of grandparents and parents who've been the driving force behind this school. <laughs> In fourth grade, my playground was a parking lot. If there's too many cars parked, we couldn't play basketball. Teachers had to, you know, stand on the street to make sure kids didn't get hit by cars coming by. Going from that to having the beautiful fields we have and the playgrounds we have for the younger kids, it's just, it's a world of difference. I, I love the school because, like, it's, it's a great school, great campus. And I just, I get to think that my parents helped make that. It's kind of, it's really cool. The most we're proud of is the way people who come to school first for the first time really don't know it. Just mention what an incredible culture and attitude and atmosphere of caring and nurturing by everybody and how it warm and embracing the, the children are. Looking back, um, I definitely wouldn't have gotten into the school, the college I got into if I had gone to the public school because the school offered so much more. There were some downsides of having my parents so involved in the school because there's times where you know, you get in trouble with the teacher before I even got home from school that day, my mom would already know. And does not separate herself from the Jewish Academy. She now volunteers in the office. 
She makes phone calls when that's needed. She's not afraid of hard work and will do anything that needs to be done for the benefit of the Jewish Academy. May this be our blessing. They had a dream and they worked really hard and made it a reality. This is their uh, legacy. The, the Jaffe family, Richard and Ann and Irvin Eleanor, they will be remembered for their contribution to the San Diego Jewish community. And not only the Jewish community of San Diego, but actually the world, because the impact that the graduates of San Diego Jewish Academy will have and their accomplishments, their achievements, will continue on for generations. So I feel like our school's really producing a lot of leaders with values. The Jaffe's have absolutely impacted education, Jewish education, and for that, we owe them a great deal of gratitude, respect, and, and honor. It was an honor to do what we did for the school, but it gave back. You know, they talk about giver's gain. Everybody can be part of this community and make a difference. And, you know, there's nothing better in life than to do something that you love and to feel like it makes a difference in the world. <laughs>